Yeah. <laughs> They're killing babies over here, man. Yeah. See, here's the thing. Yeah. You're, it's, it's not your will, it's it's God's will. You're not supposed to stand yeah, here. That cop might say something to you. It's it's public. It's There's an ordinance, a new ordinance, just so you know. I'm you, just saying, I'm just saying. I'm just letting you know. So, think about. Um, Y'all are consuming yourself with something that you have no control over. This is God's will, not yours. If, if we if we allow if we allow And then he brought it back to life Because God has a purpose. If we had if we had the answer, well gee, we don't need God. We don't need God. Do we because, need to be obedient because to God? Do man, we need to be obedient so to God? So what are you saying, sir? Yes. We and do. man and man cannot just say, Oh, okay, I want to do it my way. Okay, well then guess what? So we should, you're, should we you're, have a standard? You're totally, yes, you're totally ignoring God's will. God's will is what it is. What, it what's, is. Your, what's your standard for God's will? See, now you're going to get this argument thing. Well, no, on. no, I'm just asking you because we have a standard. What's your standard? We have the Bible that tells us what to do. We have the Bible that tells us what to do. Right, right, what, right. What the is Bible. Can, can we do share you believe the Bible? Bible? Do you yes, believe the Bible? Holy Bible. So Jesus King said to James. love your neighbor as yourself. These little babies but you being can't. murdered are our neighbors, right? But it also says, right? come on. It also says to rescue. You, you have too. to give your free will to God. You don't have to do anything. Or say that? Well, God does and it if all. you don't, then I feel sorry for y'all. There's I'm no. Saying. You have Sir, no. What, what do you? Because I'm at peace. I, I, I'm going what, through with mass murder. Some major, major tribulations right now. Yeah. Yeah. Ma'am, we can and, help. And you. the only reason why I'm surviving this is because is because my faith in God the Father Almighty. So, does that mean we should we should just disregard what God's word says though? Does that mean God's word let, let me give you a verse, all right? Proverbs twenty four eleven tells us to rescue those being taken away to death. Do but you see, think that's a command, a suggestion? Listen, you can't all right, all right. So you cannot take the words <clears throat> literally. It's all wow. spiritual warfare. So it's we're not spiritual. supposed to love we're not God supposed to love our neighbor as ourselves. Kill. We shouldn't take that literally? Um, well, I mean, if so you do, go then you're going to you're gonna suffer the consequences. What would you have done in Nazi Germany, sir? You end up in, in prison. You, you know, for doing if, what? If you, if you break man's law, then you're going to end up in God's prison. Law. You shall not murder. No, no, no. You, you can't. No, no. God's law. That's what I'm just saying. So any 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 good Christian will say, okay, well, I'm not going to kill. All right, I'm good. I fear God. Woo. Yeah. So it, it doesn't it doesn't boil so down do to that. How do they know without a preacher? No. Sir, so what, what 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 do you think you would have done in Nazi Germany? Huh? What would you have done in Nazi Germany? Would you have done nothing? While Jews are being hauled up to the gas chambers to the well, ovens? We had the GIs in yeah. World War Two. Yeah. They liberated and they rescued all the. No, not all of them. Many were millions were murdered before they got well, to them. Millions. But I mean, it's, by, by the time would you have done something? There, by the time the GIs got there. They were able to liberate and rescue. I saw them. Yeah, I saw them. But millions well, were murdered. A lot got. Wait, you know, would, would you? 11 million people were murdered. Yeah, what if you just stood cool. by and allowed it to continue? That's what most did. That's what most people That's did. what most people are doing today. They're doing nothing. While well, babies are being mass murdered today. But the difference, the, difference, the, difference, the difference is this country has murdered hundreds of millions of people. Hitler killed about 11 million people. This and country's way worse than him. And another than difference is, right. these babies can't you defend themselves. Please do me a favor. Yeah. yeah. Please. Don't consume yourself with this issue. Please. Give it. Give it away. Give it away. No, give it away. It's too late for that, and brother. You'll have peace. Too late for that. Because, you know, if you don't, then it's going to consume you. And it, you're going to be walking into... Well, let, let me, let, something for you to think about, sir. Anyway. What, what, what's your name? Bob. Bob, I'm Nicholas. In, in other words, let, let, right, let me, right, let me right, ask right. you, Bob. My Go life ahead. is, is, is a total blessing. Yeah. Paul. An absolute, Paul, is an absolute Paul. blessing. Folks, let us help you. Paul, Paul. It is an absolute blessing. You know why? There, there's help available, because folks. I Love your baby. Believe, Love I'm your baby. I'm a true believer. And God. I have true faith in God. God says you shall not murder. Father Almighty, I have the Holy Spirit standing right here. And my, I know you're saved. God says you shall not I murder, know, folks. Trust me. Wow. 
<laughs> what, what, does the, what does the Bible tell us? Not, I not have testimony. And feelings, the, the, but the, angels, the angels, the angels have their wings so wrapped around wrap me. God shall not murder. You shall not murder. The Bible says. Right here. Love your baby. Don't hate your baby to death. Love your baby on the eve of Mother's Day. Love your baby. You, you shall not murder. Let, 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 let me ask you, let me, let, Paul, let me ask you. If someone was going to come over here and threaten your life and try to kill you, what would you want us to do? Nothing? It's God's will, right? Would you want God's us? God's will. Just let him kill you, right? Don't protect you. What would you want us to do for you, Paul? Do that for babe, the babies being murdered here. Love your I, I want to talk to you face to face, but you're walking away. Love your neighbor. I want you yourself. to think about that. Just one thing. you got to listen. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, I was in the military. Come back over, Paul. You're in my platoon right now. Your ass is going to come home alive. You know why? Because I'm smart. We're going to get artillery. We're going to get Air Force. Yeah. We're going to get all that shit. I'm telling you, I'm a bad-ass motherfucker. Your mouth is not a bad of a Christian. Y'all will You're survive. If, 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 if it's on my watch, if it's on my watch. In front of children. I'm tell you, hey, you can leave now. Here. You're Shoot not a Christian. Shoot the rifle over here. You're not a Christian. Sir, make it to where you can't survive. These children need your protection. These children need your protection. Come on. I'm a Christian. I've got the Holy Spirit standing right next to me. F the this, F that. Of Christianity, right. American Christianity. You see that, officer? See the fruit of American Christianity? Profanity coming out of their mouth? But the Holy Spirit was just standing right next to him, and the angels surround him. But he's cursing out of his mouth. You see the hypocrisy. And that's what the problem with the church in America is. They all profess to know Christ, but they deny him by their lifestyle. Make sure you're not one of those people, man. There's if you hear anything I said today, read your Bible every day, man. Read Dude, it every day. you have a Bible? Okay. Right, read it. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. One of the biggest reasons for that is because people have been told their whole lives God loves you. You can come as you are. You can stay the way you are. God loves you, and they and they and they they feel comfortable living like a devil. That's that's the fruit of American Christianity. God loves you just the way you are, no matter how wicked you are. An officer, you've heard it again and again. I'll just tell you. I don't know if you profess to be a Christian, but Catholic, but these children need your your service as an officer. These children need your service as an officer to serve and protect them. Check out the um, look up, you can Google it, Doctrine of the Lesser Magistrates. Look, yeah. Doctrine of the Lesser Magistrates. DefyTyrants.com. DefyTyrants.com. Please look that up. Please look that up, officer. Hey, God. Yeah? I always have the last word. And I got the last that word. That sounds prideful to me, sir. Okay. That sounds what prideful up, to me. What is, what is up with, okay, if you look at history, yeah. Joseph Stalin, Mark Lennon, yeah. Pol Pot, Mao Zedong, yeah. they killed millions, millions of people. What do you think is happening here, sir? No, we're good. I'm yeah. just saying, they, they killed millions. Yeah, 100 million. Millions. 100 million, 75 years. Yeah. And guess what, America? Hundreds of millions. Right so, Hundreds I of millions. Think, 50 years. I think um, you all need to just... I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just saying, just enjoy your life and just forget about all that bullshit. Well, I can't. Well, this, this I'm life, hey, not man, as a Christian. This life is a vapor. It's here today and it's gone tomorrow. You know, the, the Bible talks about people who enjoyed sin for a season. That's only for a season, man. And then you're going to step into eternity and have to stand before God.